Biology is in the midst of a revolution. We're developing new techniques that allow us to look at the entire human genome in a, a scale and speed and at a price that wasn't possible before. And that's revolutionized our ability to be able to understand what's going on inside a cancer cell. The question of which prostate tumors are aggressive and need to have aggressive treatment is the most pressing one in the field today. And five years ago, to try to resolve that question, PCC and Movember came together to create the Canadian Prostate Cancer Genome Network, CPC Gene. This is a large transnational project, the largest prostate cancer genomics project in the world, in fact, that's aiming to develop predictors of what's going to happen to a patient in the future. The human genome is much bigger than most people realize. You get three billion bases of DNA from your mother, three billion individual letters that are strung together in a particular order, and another three billion from your father, six billion in total. On top of that, each of those bases can be mutated in a series of different ways in tumors. That leads to literally hundreds of billions of different types of mutations that can occur, and each cancer is going to have a unique subset of those mutations in different orders. By using DNA sequencing techniques, we've understand how individual tumors vary within themselves. We've been able to map all of the genomic mutations that occur within individual prostate cancers, and we've been able to take cohorts of patients and use those to develop predictive biomarkers using machine learning techniques that allow us to personalize therapy for individual patients. And finally, we've validated those biomarkers, and cohorts are large and international to demonstrate that they have validity that would accept them being used in routine clinical practice. The next step is to move these biomarkers into routine clinical practice, and that entails two different things that we're going to do over the next two to three years. The first is to optimize the biomarkers and make them as small and affordable as possible. The idea here is that having a small and affordable biomarker means that it's easier to use in routine clinical practice in Canada, every province, and around the world. The other thing that we want to do is to do a series of clinical trials to demonstrate their efficacy and make it clear to patients and clinicians that this should be routine standard of care practice. 